the northern hillside of Yingyir Township in Yining City, Xinjiang, was originally an open space and also served as a shooting range for militia training. Now, a transformation through education camp was built here. The camp is massive in size, containing four building complexes with a floor space area of about 110,000 square meters. The camp can accommodate several thousand people. According to a GPS image published by Sean Jung, a Chinese student in Canada, a plot of land that was empty in mid-October of 2017 was covered in buildings by August of 2018. In August, our reporter penetrated the Yingyir transformation through education camp and photographed its interior constructions. Within the transformation through education camp, a complex of orange buildings lined up side by side holds dormitories for the camp's students. And upon closer inspection of the exteriors of the buildings in the complex, one can see that each building is four stories tall and that the windows of each floor are fitted with guard railing, as well as an additional layer of guard netting. The exit areas of each building are fitted with three surveillance cameras apiece, which comprehensively monitor the area from the left, right, and center. A slogan is written on the external walls of the buildings, which reads, heartfelt thanks for the cordial care of the party central committee with comrade Xi Jinping as the core. Inside the buildings, the interior constructions are just like the cells of a prison or detention center. Each room has double iron doors, and the outermost iron door also has guard railing and a keypad lock. Each dorm room has its own washroom and is fitted with a surveillance camera. According to a leak from an inside source, up to 15 people can live in each dorm. Surveying has also revealed that each floor holds 28 dorm rooms and three classrooms. Various slogans are written on the walls outside of the classrooms, such as, make a habit of studying Mandarin and follow the guidance of Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era and untiringly strive to realize the China dream of a great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Besides, this floor of the building also contains a standalone surveillance room. From the large screen monitor, it is apparent that 360 degree surveillance cameras are installed in every corner of the building, including not only classrooms, dormitories, and corridors, but even washrooms. Every move by the detainees is monitored 24 hours a day. They are totally deprived of freedom and privacy. The entirety of each building is stringently guarded. And in addition to surveillance cameras being installed in every corner, the entrance to the building has been fitted with an iron gate as well. In the corridors, the windows of each room have also been sealed with tight iron bars and wire netting and even the windows in the room that may be used as the student cafeteria are no exception. It is nearly impossible for the people being held in these buildings to escape. Our reporter also noticed that there are several areas surrounded by chain link fencing on empty land in front of certain buildings, next to which large quantities of wire netting that hasn't yet been used is stacked in piles. On one side of the fencing, the words emergency asylum are written. According to an inside source from the public security system, this emergency asylum is most likely an outside walking area for detainees. An outside walking area is a place in the courtyard of a prison where the prison allows its inmates to go to get some exercise at set times. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP authorities, have been desperately denying the existence of transformation through education camps. But recently, facing the international community's constant condemnation, the CCP authorities have withdrawn their previous statement 
and attempted to justify their persecution on Uyghurs, claiming that they are vocational training centers. The Inyeyer Transformation Through Education Camp has been advertised to the outside world as a vocational training school, though there is no difference between its inner constructions and those of a prison.